guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm going to be talking about color theory i think that this is a very important topic for anyone that likes drawing or wants to pursue a career in art last year is when i started using color theory in my artwork and i really saw an improvement in my art in this video i'm going to be talking about important art terms the color wheel and color schemes so first i'm going to talk about the art terms hue is what the color is like red pink green are examples of hues it's basically a fancy word for color value is the darkness or lightness of a color and a good way to understand value is to look at a value scale which i will demonstrate now using the color red as you can see, I'm putting a very dark burgundy, which is a darker hue of red. You can see the color getting lighter and lighter as I start to do these shades. Saturation is the intensity of a color. It's not about light and dark, it's about how strong the color is. The color above are saturated in color, and the colors below are not saturated at all. So now we're going to talk about lightness, also known as tint and shade. If you want to make color light, you add white. If you want to make a color darker, you add black. So as you can see on the right, I, it's going from yellow all the way to black. And on the left, it's going to yellow all the way to white. Tone is making a hue grayer by adding gray. You can also achieve this by mixing two complementary colors together. Now that we got the basic out of the way, let's talk about the color wheel. Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, cannot be created by other colors, but any color can be made from them. The secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. These colors can be made by mixing two out of the three primary colors together. Let me demonstrate. So at the top, I have red and yellow. I will mix those two colors to make orange. And below, red and blue make purple, and below that, blue and yellow make green. The ones that are circled are called tetrary colors. These colors are made by mixing a primary color with a secondary color, like green and yellow make green yellow. And the color that they are mixed with becomes the name of the color. As you can see below, I am mixing one primary color with one secondary color to achieve the ter- uh, I can never say this word. Uh, ter- Territory. <laughs> oh my god, you understand what I mean. Color schemes can help an artist make decisions about colors in their artwork based on how the colors are arranged on the color wheel. This color scheme is used by using only one hue and adding white, gray, or black to make tints, shades, and tones so it's not so so it's not combined into one. And usually you mix um, white and gray and black when you are painting. A triadic scheme is three colors that are evenly spaced out to form a triangle. 
So I am moving this triangle around so that I can make a color scheme. This color scheme is actually really pretty, honestly. Complementary colors are colors that are crossing each other on the color wheel. Wow, that just sound like, what do they call that? Um, a, a tongue twister. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, these can be very overpowering if the, you don't use these colors correctly, but it can have good results if you do use them correctly. It depends on what look you're going for. So, split complementary schemes is similar to the previous one, except you use two colors that are across each other as opposed to one color. So it's kind of like the triangle one, but not really. I don't really know how to explain it. And the last color scheme is called the anal analogous color scheme. And these are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. It can be about two to four colors you can use. I wouldn't recommend any other colors besides two to four because then you're just going to use the entire color wheel, I feel like. So, yeah. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up so I know that it was helpful and so that I can make more videos like these and more tutorials are coming soon, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!